Okay, welcome to video number two for how to create an iBook using Apple's iBook Author Program. And in this video, I'm going to simply show you how you add video to your iBook. Now, the reason why I created a separate video for this is because you actually have to format the video. Let me show you as an example. Uh, here for intro media, it says you can drop movie or image. So let's just see what happens when I drop a video that I have created. I get an error here. The media file, how to create an iBook video movie, wasn't added. The file was unsupported format. So like if you create a video in, in a, with a, using a screen capture software or anything like that, you're going to get that kind of message. And here's how you get around it. So what you want to do is you want to open the movie and you want to open it with QuickTime. Um, which if you're on a Mac, you should have QuickTime pretty uh, already installed. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it. Here's my video. From QuickTime, I can go to File, Export. And I'm just going to export it as iPad, iPhone, or Apple TV format. That's the format that you need to get it to work with uh, your iBook. So go ahead and just click export there and it takes about mm, 10 or 15 minutes depending on how long your video is. Um, I'm not going to do that because I already have a video that's done that way. So let me find that here. And they usually save as M4V. So let's see what happens when I drop one of that format. And then as you can see, the video goes right in. And uh, you can edit the size of the video that's within there too. So you can just kind of shrink it and move it around. Um, and then the same thing goes for when you're adding a video, say within a chapter. So let's say instead of that right there, I want to add a video. So let's go ahead and do the same thing that we just did here. Open this back up. There we go. All right, there we go. So then when you drag and drop your video, it should show up in there, and then you can click play. In this section, guys, we are going to be... Um, and then you can change the size of the video. Um, well, I'm moving that around. Um, however big you want the video to be, um, where you want it within the book here and you can see if you can kind of make it bigger if you need to you can squeeze this thing in a little bit let me grab that so maybe we need to make this a smaller or a longer section to make room for a larger video that's an option and then the cool thing is is once this book is downloaded on an iPad they can click the video and make it full screen and um, really that's all there is to it um, when it comes to adding video to your iBook guys it's very very simple um, I just wanted to show you how to do that using uh, QuickTime to export your video for the right format um, because I've seen a lot of people including myself who had issues with that so that's how you add a video to your iBook author um, and in the next video we will move on to publishing so I hope to see you on the other side